good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and all those in between, to the latest episode of Curse Breakers, where I, your fabulous dungeon master, quite humble as well, take these six intrepid adventurers across the land of Barovia as they attempt to break the curse upon the land. The curse of Strahd! No, wait, they broke that. Um, <laughs> Curse upon the land! <laughs> <laughs> Any other but, curse? But perhaps the curse upon themselves. But before we begin, let's do those introductions, starting with our new Dryder. Hello, I'm Spadias Fanan, and I'm a Dryder. Then let's go for the person with the most faces. Um, Hi, I'm Steph. I play Porky the Barbarian. Then Which face said that? <laughs> Let's go for the one person who's not cursed at all. Hello, I play Aeos. I don't have any consequences because I'm playing a lawful good cleric who did the and, right thing. And then our resident furry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cameron. <laughs> I play Cade Everwood, Osmar Paladin. Very boner. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, our one armed, six empty eyed person. I'm Tank and I play Hellware. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and finally, our Wear Raven Bear. Hi, I'm Kirsty. I play. Be Raven Albert. <laughs> <laughs> right now, on the last exciting episode, the party read Strahd's diary, killed Strahd's horse, pissed off Strahd, killed Strahd. It was an eventful and, evening. <laughs> and that's where it all should have ended. But. Time froze, and Aeos was granted a vision on the land, a voice speaking to them, a voice they believed to be Selene. However, mm. the mists of Barovia are slowly drawing in, seemingly centered upon the castle of Ravenloft. And it seems that upon the defeat of Strahd, rather than freeing the land, they have instead weakened the prison on the dark powers. As if to reflect this, all those who took deals with the dark powers have been warped and changed. Elias became a drider. Cade became a skeletal dragonborn where the bones themselves are covered in black fur, which is honestly still an image that I struggle to picture in my head. Porky gained five faces and apparently is looking to God for inspiration. Tank gained three faces, his arm died, and his, he, the smoke that once poured from his body when he spoke in Fernum now pours from him at all times when he speaks. And also his dog got bigger. And Raven, seemingly, rather than being affected by the curse directly in the way you would expect, it appears that the royal nature of the spirit inhabiting their body has perhaps allowed that curse to be directed, allowing them into their new form, the ability to turn into that of a baby black owlbear, which is more of a raven bear, but owlbear is just easier to say, or a creature known as a capine, which is a simply a more humanoid version of an owlbear, and more intelligent, kind of like a hybrid between human and owlbear. And it is as the party were beginning to explore, they came across um, an altar on which there was a dead person and a strange idol which, upon touching, tried to strike down um, Aeos with Radiant Fury, but it was no match for them. 
they now have this item and they also have the mace that this strange being once wielded. It tried to go for one final strike but failed and then dissolved into mist which slowly began to seep upwards. And that is where we left off, I believe. Mm. So, welcome to episode 52, the anniversary stream. Let's see what the party want to do. <sighs> right. <clears throat> well, that was easy. <laughs> it could have been worse, yes. Um, I should try and take some time to maybe tune to this. Could be useful. But didn't it nearly blast you into smithereens? I think I have it under control now. I would say from how it acted, it seems like it was more the act of taking it from the altar that was the issue rather ah, than gotcha, the taking gotcha. of the object. Hmm. Uh, that is how Aos feels. Very least. well. Just keep safe with it. And is because obviously it takes normally a short rest to attune. Is that Aos requesting a short rest? Um, at some point, perhaps, yes. To be fair, does, doesn't Raven want to also attune to some? Yes, I believe. Two of us now, then. That, that staff of power. The only issue is yeah, I... I was trying to remember what it was that I had. Um... I think you're going to take off the crown. Or not take yeah. it off. <laughs> not yeah, take I'll it off. Wear it as a crown. Oh, the, the, the cloak of... The, the, the cloak, this speeder cloak, you, basically. You, you, had, you had a choice between the spider cloak and the staff of power because you can wield. Both oh yeah, it was the staff of power, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought yeah. you already yeah. tuned the spider cloak because you removed the yeah. ring of warmth. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah, a lot yeah. of attunement stuff going around recently. So my only worry is that your conditions were worse. So maybe we should only take one if absolutely necessary. Is it time that's affecting us, or is it us using our powers? You Definitely the latter, but it could also be that you are running out of time. I saw in my vision this mist was encroaching around Barovia. Was that right? It was getting closer. Yeah. Yep. Yes, it, it was essentially slowly sweeping in and it seemed to be centered on the castle itself oh but going off all the good we've done i would rather want to assume that this mist coming in is sending people out in a good way but i guess going off what you said last it it's not good for all the denizens that are supposed to be living here. This is where they call their home. But that, but hopefully they're no longer trapped here. But obviously you no, said I'm, to us I'm, that... It doesn't matter about trap. I'm saying people live here. They, 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 this is their home. And as a reminder that your few interactions with the mist, the mist has essentially sapped life from people. Oh, I know, but I want I want to stay positive and just hope that this is sending people back to where they originally came from. I'm saying people originally came from here. What about all the people who were born and lived in Valaki in Crest? Yeah, but are we even sure this place? That I don't want to get too deep, but do we even know if this place really exists? Barovia, I mean. Uh, I would say, based on your reading of the diary, it seems like Strahd came to this place and it and basically conquered it, from what you understand, and brought his family here from somewhere else. So you would probably feel that it is an actual place and... I'm just how much of that is real, who knows. I'm just st staying positive, but obviously we don't want the, uh, the 
things taking over us getting out. Before we came here, there was a young child who who didn't seem to even have a soul in the first place. I was experimenting with the mist to see if I could maybe give them one, but it seemed as though they were born without one. A side effect of this place, the mist trapping souls. I know when I died, I must have been one of the lucky ones. A new body that was able to inhabit a soul. But for those who didn't have one, well, I have no idea what's going to happen to them when this place collapses. So we need... What, what do we do? What's the next plan? I thought that Strahd was the tether to this world. He was, yes. That's why the world is now seemingly unraveling. Either that or it's something else, something worse that's encroaching. Maybe Strahd was actually holding that back. Okay, so we make a new tether. We tie it to something else. We figure out how Strahd must... did what he did and do it another way. There must always be a Lich King. A li you mean a... No one knew that reference. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> there must always be a Strahd, then. Yeah, not necessarily an evil one. Like, one that doesn't suddenly become uber creepy. So don't we need to go to the Amber Temple and take the vampire power then? I don't think well, taking... Think so. like, that... is, it, how... is there anything yeah. in Strahd's diary that goes through exactly how he tethered himself to the room? But that... One of you's gonna have to read it because I can't read it. That, that was it. He took the dark gift and then killed the person closest to them. That is how he yeah. became the vampire and tethered himself to the land. Another thing worth noting is that upon Strahd's death, all of your allies vanished. As in literally materialized. Uh, not materialized. Uh, you, you, you have no idea. One minute they were there and the next minute they were gone. So is that to hope that Everybody else has already gone. Maybe it's just us. Maybe the denizens are already back to where they came from, or... What if we're on the we're wrong side off? of the tether? Um, yeah. Or maybe the, the ones that didn't have a soul no longer exist anymore. Hasn't this whole place just been a recycling of the same souls over and over with the odd few being sat in the mist? Yes. So... I that's guess... A that's, a point, that's a good point, actually. Casby is not here. And he took a gift as well. All I know is that we should well, hurry. Sorry. And get I, I would say because the longer we linger, the more those myths are going to encroach. Right. Well, to the Amber Temple, then. Yeah. I don't think we need to go to the Amber Temple. Well, there might be a reason to go there. It depends. Well, we that need was... to go to the room. We need to go to the room with the torches. Room with the torches? Mm-hmm. What torches? The, the uh, tel teleport room. Oh, the teleport right. room. Or were they stones, crystals, candles? They were, they were crystals that you put into a fire. Like, there we go. Yeah, we need to go back to the brazier. Right. So, uh, and cool. yeah. So yeah, the way that kids go in there. Door stuck. Door stuck. I'm, I'm going to follow, but I'm, I'm going to hang back with Porky. 
I'm going to follow, but I'm just going to continue. Oh. Uh, <laughs> right, just before you keep going, let me just make sure that you're not triggering anything. Oh, Triggered! I wish I had a pause button. And... Yeah, no, that's um, better. No boundary. I, like to I do like to think that everybody has... Weren't we following left. the staircase before? Oh yeah, didn't, isn't that what we were originally doing? We were going up the staircase. Because we were in the basement, weren't we? Yeah. yeah. This grand hall is choked with dust and stretched into darkness ahead. Webs hang from the arched ceiling like drapes, and life-size statues of knights line the hallway on both sides. Upon entering the room, all of their gazes seem to turn to watch you. Hello. All, all of my gears is turned to watch them. It's got a point. You have many gears. Yep. Um, so, it, it, so are we, are we following the stairs, or are we trying to retrace our steps back to where we came from? Well, we know which way the brazier is, don't we? Yeah, it's. Uh... You would know your way there, but. Um, just a quick question from my perspective. Why do you think you need to go to the Brazier? Just so I'm aware. Because, literally, that's what <laughs> Selena told me. Or at least, I believe to be Selena. Said. She said you must go back to that room, the Brazier. Not sure that's exactly what I said, but okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you remember, then I'll go for it. Wasn't it that that's, that the dark gifts came from that brazier, that there was a way to the Amber Temple there? And yeah, potentially. That... Yeah. But All that... I know is that that's what I've been told. Yeah. Yeah, the, I'm going to sort of hang back a bit and sort of pull like, Porky's poncho slightly as a slow down sort of. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's not rushing off. No, as in sort of drop back a little bit. Okay. Um, I was just going to be like, I don't remember much. I don't know much, but everyone said something about a, a tether. Yeah. Um, basically, the Strahd was like a really, really bad person and he tethered himself to the land um, and made everybody here miserable and it meant those that died couldn't go anywhere and they were just being reincarnated and he was just awful. Um, and then now that he's dead, all that bad has kind of just we were hoping it would be destroyed, but it looks like um, it's just now not controlled. So it needs someone to be the tether then? Maybe, that's a theory, but we're not sure. I'll just look at Porking out. If that's what it needs, I will do it. Mm. I don't know where I come from, I don't know where I am or anything, but if I can help people, <laughs> I will do that. Um, yeah. as, as brave as that is, Helwyr, I don't think any of us want to see that happen to you. I, d I don't, but if that's the only way to protect everyone... i tell you what, if you, if you eventually get back your memories, or if you don't, or it comes down to it and you still want to do it, then I will help you do it. But until then, maybe don't jump into dying just... Mm. Okay? I mean... I, I don't know what I have outside of here. You as far as I know, I have you, nothing. You have us, you have friends. You have Elias, and that points to the big spider thing. Yeah. Um, you may not remember it, 
but you have all of that at the very least remember it or not you can start afresh now until we get your memories back um but you still have us and we're not about to abandon you to anything sort of nods and tries to give her a hug and his arm doesn't work it's fine i'll hug him instead <laughs> one hour yeah just oh my lord yeah. my arm doesn't I... work at this oh, point <laughs> Pork I am also just really quickly gonna fork out, fork out, <laughs> point out to Hellware that like my my mother suffers with short term memory loss. So if anyone knows about having someone they love lose their memory frequently, it's me. That's that's sad. Just she um, yeah. oh. my mum. She she took a very nasty blow from a very very bad person. Um, and she can't retain memory for very, very long. Um, she remembers important people, um, but nothing much else. Sometimes she'll remember random things, sometimes she'll remember uh, really small details about things that even I don't remember. Um, but you know, um, the memories are there somewhere, and the people around you won't ever forget. Okay. At this point, could Hawkey and Raven both roll me charisma checks? Uh -uh. Just like charisma? Yep. Oh wow, Raven, really? Oh. <laughs> Charisma's supposed to be your best thing! Charisma's one of my better things. <laughs> you have better charisma than I do. <laughs> I know it's the not same. Smart, but she's good at talking to people. Hmm. Okay. Because I'm kind of getting proficiency bonus onto this, you, Raven, will notice this. I'm going to say for you, it's more of. It's kind of hard to explain. It's sort of like a scent, but you're not smelling it. It's more like you're sensing it using your nose, if that makes sense. Kind of. It's smell. <laughs> <laughs> but not, it doesn't feel like a scent, but somehow you've noticed it, like your nose twitching maybe, but you're not smelling anything. Okay. So you turn, and I need a token quickly. You'll do. Thank you. Oh, that, that's, that's not actually a token at all. Um, useful. Um, Oh, uh, what's it? Nope. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do what I want you to do? No? Fine. You turn and you see, and I'm just gonna use this to represent it. It's literally got some actually showing image on the thing. You enter Generation Pole, Roll 20. I'm on the wrong layer. That's also part of the reason why this isn't working. Always fine. Okay. <laughs> you see a small fox holding a scroll in its mouth. Okay. Mm -mm. It looks at you <laughs> and sort of looks in the direction that the party are going and then just shakes its head before just sort of just sort of sitting there okay um that's the case i'm gonna just kind of like come back in the room but not come close to it almost like you know kind of like coming halfway in sort of if it wants to come closer, then it can, but he's not going to approach yeah. it all the way. Yeah. It does approach. And it looks at you for a moment and tilts its head. And now I would like a, another charisma check from you. Okay. Is it the same fox that we saw before? Really? Wow. Exact same way. 
it, it looks very similar, but Raven seems to be the only one who noticed this. Even Porky with your five faces and Hell with your three faces, you don't seem to see this. You just see Raven walk off by themselves. Even your Hellhound doesn't seem to have picked up with its sense of smell. It looks at you for a moment and then places the scroll on the ground before turning three times on the spot and then seemingly squishing into a 2D image of itself before vanishing entirely, huh. leaving just the scroll behind. Cute. <laughs> he goes and picks the scroll up and looks it over. Yeah. All it will say on it Hmm, let me just try to think how. Okay, now roll me an investigation check. Never go that way. <laughs> yeah, it's, it simply has a five on it, followed by a question mark. Okay. Five, I'll make you guess down now. And then, upon looking at that... How best to describe this without making it obvious? Um... Actually, rather than a... the number five, um, I will say... There are five what you would describe as raven beaks it, like drawn on it okay in a pattern but seemingly indicating the number five how you interpret that is of course up to you but it seems that this fox doesn't think that she doesn't want you to go the way you're going is what you would get from it. But why? You're not sure. Guys? Hmm? Hmm? This may sound a little crazy, but uh, I just saw a little fox thing and it seemed to not want us to go that way. He seemed friendly enough, left this and held up a scroll. I mean, we all just turned into weird monstrosities. I don't think that's crazy at all. But, uh, yeah, he... He was shaking his head when he saw us walking off that way, so... It could be a trick. Is it the same fox we saw last? I believe so. Hmm. You would guess that it is. And I see the paper? Yeah. He hands it over to her. Yes, and Porky roll me an investigation check. <laughs> That's a good one for you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> nice. To you, this Merch. appears to be an almost blank piece of paper, except that it just says, has a question mark. Yeah, um... Anybody else need help? Foxes... They're kind of known to be tricksy, right? Sly. It could be a trick. Whereas I received my message from literally a divine being. Just to say the fox isn't divine. Yeah. Porky and Raven oh. know that quite a few times when they've been doing stuff in relation to their secreter mission, they have seen that sort of thing before. Where have you seen this fox before? Several times. Doing he's, what? He's done us good before, so... It guided us out of trouble last time. Hmm. We have reason to trust it, so... 
when he gives a warning is kind of the we have to listen. I mean, it's in theory, it doesn't want us to die just yet because it's like obviously the other person that we have at the moment. Mm. Letting us die is counterproductive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm not leading you to your death. I'm trying to lead you back to. Okay, but there's probably another way. Well, that place, the brazier, led to always. It seems like it had a passage to get to any part of this yeah, place. Yes, but I'm, I'm. She's saying we can still get there, but possibly maybe the, maybe the not is saying this way. Not this direction. Let me think. Also, just as a we go down the stairs, we go along the corridor. Too many people talking at once. Can't hear what they're saying. So if I remember, we go down the stairs, along the corridor, into the catacombs, up the balcony, and then into the brazier room. Mm -hmm. So we already know the way. Yes, but that might not be the only way, and it might not be the safe way. That's what we're trying to explain. We don't know what we've unleashed. There could be something there now that wasn't there before. Can I try and look around and see if the fox is maybe hiding down like another opening, another doorway or something like it's trying to... Yeah, yeah. you know what? Maybe. Perception mm. check. Can I have a look at the paper? Mm, you can. 23. Okay, let me just check something. You, I'm gonna say, don't see the fox. However, what you do see are seemingly its footprints going in this direction towards the cellar okay. stairs, you can see. He's gonna poke Paul Pisa, do you see those? And he like points on the floor. Do I see them too? Roll me perception. <laughs> Sixteen. Yes. I'm going to wander yeah. down that way. Yeah. And I'm going to say that between the two of you, you would notice that, um, the sets of footprints appear a little bit odd. It's they appear to go in like a group of four, then a group of five, then a group of four. Okay. Take that as you will. As in four four prints, five five four prints. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Almost. If you were to guess, it almost seems like that it's trying to... Like, either that or it mysteriously gained five legs, but it may be trying to indicate something. It seems to like the number five. Hmm. How many party members are we missing? A lot. <laughs> An armada. Um, a couple. In, ter in terms of the act... Let's... Let me do a quick Yarkin... No, it's far too many people. Mm. Technically I... seven, I believe. Can I check the paper? Yeah, sure, why not? You can roll me um, an investigation check. Five, 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 on this, at first you don't see anything. You're turning it around a few times. As you have turned it around precisely four times, you see five spiders appear on it, like in a pattern. Is this because five of us took gifts? 
I was Ooh, just going to say that there's five of us that have taken gifts. Why oh. does... What does this... mean? I also have five faces. Does it... Does it... Actually, another thing you would notice, Elias, actually, because you have rolled in the same high, is that one of the spiders is up... is up facing the other way up. Um... I'm sorry, what? Facing the other way up? So, if, say, imagine a 2D image of a spider. Uh -huh. Um, and there's five of them, but one of them appears to be upside down in relation to the others. Like on its back, or just facing downwards on the paper? Just facing downwards. Like, upside down, sort of thing. Like, you can't really, um, think of it, uh... Do these stairs go up or down? Up. But Im imagine sort of like um, Spider-Man symbol, like as an image of sort of what these look like. Four of them are facing the normal way that it would, and one of them is facing the other way. Which is kind of what our tokens are doing. Mm. Oh. That. So it wants us to go... Oh, but obviously because I'm upside down looking down right now, it wants me to go down from my perspective. So it wants us to go higher. Either that, or the gods can count to five. <laughs> I'm gonna go up the stairs one flight and see what's up there. I'll kind yeah. of hang around at the bottom. Um, I'll hand it to Aos, Aos as well, because yeah. maybe it, it make, it'll make some sense to Aos. Aos, would you like to roll an investigation on this scroll, which now appears to be blank when Elias hands it to you? Because Aos is obviously against us going this way, by the looks of it. <sighs> Just not convinced, that's all. But I'll have a look at it. Yep. Uh, can I use perception rather than investigation? Mm, yeah, I'll allow it. Why not? Okay. So, again, after turning this exactly four times as you're flipping it over, doesn't ma doesn't seem to matter the direction you move in a different way to Elias. You are able to see five objects on it. But for you, they are five crescent moons. But... Four of them are waxing, one of them is waning. Okay. That one is much easier to describe. And I'm okay. going to just go back to Raven just a moment with your one. Five of the beaks were facing... Four of the beaks were facing left, one was facing right. I'm going to jump down from the ceiling and see if that makes any difference. It does not. Huh, so my theory about the whole, the way we're facing, doesn't make a difference. Mm, six of us. Yeah, but only five of us took gifts. That was m the idea I was thinking. It sort of, I thought maybe the paper was tracking us and trying to tell us which way we were supposed to go. But it just turns out the gods can count to five and have a sixth sense of humor. I think this is something that will perhaps be revealed later. Yeah, maybe. Mm. It still doesn't help us on where we should go. Yeah, I will say, Raven, as you head up the stairs... Well, they're not waiting around. Raven has... Um, Raven's just gone to scout, so... No, Porky's um, the one who just Porky, went up one sorry, flight of stairs. Not Raven. Let me just... Um, I'll take Porky on that map. It's not really necessary for everyone to see. Um, so, let me bring Porky actually onto the map so you have vision because I think one of the map lights may still need it. You find yourself on a balcony overlooking the chapel. There are two 
bodies sitting in um, chairs observing the chapel, but upon looking at them, they fade into mist, and that mist seeps up. There is also a doorway here that you see. Does not appear to be any more stairs leading up from where you are directly. But. Yeah. You said the, mu the, 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 the mist is going upwards. Yes. Like it seeps through the ceiling. Okay. Is there any more sign of these four prints anywhere? Mm, roll me another. Roll me another charisma check, followed by a perception check. Mm. Ugh. No. And perception. Okay, maybe if your perception is exceptionally high, actually. About 19, okay. That's pretty high. Um, I'm going to say um, you don't see any leading anywhere. You see ones coming out onto this thing and sort of basically at the top of the stairs and again there is a set of five of them and a set of four of them i'm gonna point out the fact that when i rolled my perception check my charisma checks both were natural ones and when you did yours they were both nines <laughs> yeah i find that kind of weird <laughs> but i the dice are not being nice today it seems yeah. um... so i'm guessing you're gonna head back down or are you gonna look around a bit more up here I'm going to go down and I'll explain to them what I've seen. Okay, I will, uh, I will drag you back onto that map. Yeah. So there. That probably that. needs AR's cloak halfway up the stairs. Yep. <sighs> Talk about dangers, you just went off on your own. I was scouting ahead. Okay, so there is, there's like, it overlooks like the chapel. Um, if I, if I go like over here, can I see the balcony? Yes. And I'm going to point, <laughs> be like, I was up there. Point. Um, and if people can see the chairs, I'll just be like, there were two bodies in there. And then as I kind of went up, they kind of turned into mist and went. All right, let's go up the stairs together then. Okay, you all want to go to the next floor then? Is that an agreed? Sure. We're following mist. We just yeah. haven't got time to be indecisive at all. I'll follow the party. Okay, let's see. I will roll 20 on to behave once I start going through the vacation on this map. Is there any, anything actually on the chairs? Like any objects have been left on them? Um, roll me a quick um, investigation or perception check. Twenty-one. That's not investigation or perception check. Wrong one. <laughs> the chairs are terrifying. I can't. I'm trying to. Read. <laughs> I will pull. The I haven't chairs. got my glasses on. Yeah. Well, that's um, even worse, but yeah. Anyway. One, one, of the, one of the chairs, I'm just going to say, just sort of seems to, for a moment, because of that roll, seems to almost be looking at you, but then it just sort of stands stock still. And But on investigation, you don't stick to anything, so it's not a mimic. Apparently, you just literally scared the soul of this chair. <laughs> or the wood that it was made of. He's um, staring so intensely, he's got his angry face on without knowing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But you don't find anything on the chairs. Okay. Um, in fact, there doesn't even appear... Like, all you find is, like, dust from where, like, people were sitting. But... It's not it much didn't look afraid. familiar, the people? Hmm? It didn't look familiar, the people? Well, to be fair, I, I'm, I was behind the chairs. I didn't... Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
We got some light in here. Hey, you should have your sword out, right? Uh, yeah, I haven't stopped. <laughs> I'm still expelling 30 feet of yeah. daylight. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> get away, get away. I'm a flashbang. <laughs> That's better. All right. Uh, I'll, in fact, I'll probably sheath it now because, like, obviously there's no threat of Strahd. Uh, but I'll just have it kind of almost like a, a torch. So just opening it a tiny bit. Um, I'll cap. probably use the Lantern of Revealing as well. Yeah. And I want to aim that around towards those chairs as well. Yeah, uh, I will say probably with that you see again a faint residue of mist going upwards, but it's very, very faint. Okay. I'm going to peek through these doors. Yeah. Okay. It's 20 foot high hall has a dark vaulted ceiling to where it's cold. A low moan seems to travel the length of the corridor as it rises and falls in tones of sadness and despair. Oh. Oh, shine the lantern of revealing down. That doesn't look good. You don't see anything. Uh, it's just... If you were to guess, it's just the wind. Is that the only way to go in this hallway? Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's, well, let's go through them. Uh, with the party. Gonna go on, mate. Yeah, yeah, can you give me vision? Do you not have vision? Uh, I have vision, I just don't have... If I'm using the bullseye lantern of revealing, I'll probably have a lot more light. 60 feet in a second. <laughs> I've only got 30 looks. I should have dark vision up to six. I've only got 30. Is that better? Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, I think it's 30 and then 30 dim, I think is probably what it's doing. Okay, um, I'm just going to move some of you back, get back to the middle of the hall, all of you. I'm going to go up back to the wall. You're, you're still going to be in the middle of the hall before this time this triggers, so... Go on to the wall. Right. This you arrow. hear a scraping sound of stone against stone, followed by the squeaking of a bat. In the direction of the noise, you see the fanged visage, outstretched claws, and flapping back capes of a vampire bearing down on you from above. A deep, throaty chuckle fills the hall. And... I would like everyone to roll for initiative. Cool. Your master is dead. Do I have no, my helmet down here, please, James? Yep. Wait, Ian? Ian is also with you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I was tempted to remove him to nerf you slightly, but... Yeah, no! <laughs> my rolls are nerfed already! <laughs> I wouldn't call that a slight now. That'd be huge. Yeah. Right. So, I'm not going to roll for initiative for reasons. So, Elias, you're up first. This figure is swinging down towards you. Um. Crap. Why am I first? Um. I do something. You're as dead as your master. Mock. There is no reaction to what you have done. Oh. I don't think it's real, guys. Uh. It didn't respond. It didn't even look at me it, disgust. It, it just continues to chuckle. Oh, I'll hold the lantern of revealing up. It doesn't disappear. Can I? But I will allow... No, actually, I'll wait until your turn for that. Can I Pause. bonus action pinch his cheeks? Well, it hasn't got you yet. It's swinging it down. <laughs> well, I mean, you could I... go up to it if you wanted. Sure, why not? I'm going to 
pinch his cheeks. Like a... He would. He's just like, you didn't... Eh, you. It's made of I... wood. Oh, this is... Mannequin. Oh. Told you it wasn't real, guys. What? Oh my lord. He's a... Uh... You, you see a small magic rune on it, which you would say is reminiscent of the Prestigitation cantrip. You also notice that it is held up by thin wires and a pulley system of some kind. Oh, glad I didn't waste any spells on that. <laughs> More trick. More illusion. I guess the people disappeared, but stuff like this stuck around. And that's it. There is no combat, it's just it says to roll for initiative for that, so... Um, <laughs> just gonna keep on... In case anyone uses, like, Spirit Guardians at 17 levels. Yeah, I just, I, like, I chop it down. <laughs> just gonna swing my yep. axe, chop it down. Yeah, I'm it going falls, to... It falls to the floor, and as you smash it apart, it just keeps going... <laughs> Until it's eventually smashed. Good lord. But it's it's a booby trap, right? So if it's it's trying to scare people off, that means there's something down this way. Very true. Except booby. Yeah. Child. Um, I'm going to give Cade a vigilant blessing. Oh, I've all the way to that. Right, let me open the next door for you. I'm done with these traps and illusions. Say the door the opens down. to reveal another set of double doors ten feet ahead. Between these doors, a ten foot corridor stretched north to south. Each end of the hall floating in the darkness is a human skeleton clad in the rusted armor and tat delivery of a castle guard. I cast sacred flame on one of them. Wait, there's that's... no reaction. Can I can I drag okay. along this wooden mannequin? Bring you it. You kinda smashed it to pieces, but you could, yeah. Yeah, like, it might come in handy later, you don't know. Yeah. Hey, hey Kate. Yes? We found you some more sustenance. Ha ha ha, very funny, I'm made of sustenance now. I, I don't need that you. Was, <laughs> that wasn't a joke. That... Oh, okay. Uh, I think I already have sustenance, so I have enough sustenance. Just, just look sad for being laughed at for Chaos. Um, trying to be helpful. You know what? Um, roll me a perception check, Chaos. And Chaos alone. Yeah, I was actually just about to ask if, to, if there was any traps or anything here. You don't see any traps, but upon looking about your lantern, you do notice this door, this portion of wall at the top of the room shimmers slightly. Hmm. Elias, check out that wall. Something odd about it. I tried to climb up it. You, as you begin to climb up it, it pushes open. Mm. In a hidden passage. And then it swings back and squishes you against the wall. No, it doesn't. I don't know what that means. No, oh, my beautiful spider fall. We found a secret passage. Can we have that review? Right. Yeah, let me just, um... Let the dynamic lighting at least do some of the work. Ah, uh, hello. Big. I'm inclined to take the back door rather than the potentially trapped front ones. There is a room to the side here. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just doing what I did in Agenvost and just peeking for each door. <laughs> it worked out well that that time. Would you like to? You want to open that door? Well, slowly. I'm not gonna bust my way in. Do you want me to open it? Okay. As the door begins to open, regardless of who is opening it, you hear a the scream of a woman. 
Not in a like a uh, like banshee sort of way, but like a scared sort of way. And uh, I'm not very close, sort of. <laughs> yeah, Hello. possibly. Hello, are you a mannequin too? What do you mean a mannequin? I'm clearly at least a womankin. But we just found the vampire mannequin that was laughing and it was fake. Stop! Well, What's to say that you couldn't be a mannequin that fake screaming? Yeah, show, I, mean, show I, mean, I, mean, I, I mean, come pinch my cheek if you like. I'm quite fleshy and blood. How did you know I... Nah, never mind. Don't be alarmed, he's not really a monster. I was kidnapped by Strahd, I know what monsters are like. Even if you were a monster, I'm suspecting you're just taking me off to some form of torture. Why would we... Well, you'll be pleased to know Strahd is now dead. You're free to leave this place. But the mists are coming in! Oh! Oh. So, you win some, oh. you lose some. Hmm. What is your name? Is she not at all disturbed by Elias's spideriness? Seemingly not. I think that was the initial scream. My, my, my name is Helga Rubak. I, I have a bit, bit, bit of Helga. 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 Moron. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm the daughter of a bootmaker in Barovia. Oh, we've met him. He's oh, wait a minute. Cool guy, a little crazy. It might not be just one boot maker, but... No, there's only one. Not the Raven's got his boots, hold on. Make, but those were boots I believe you found in the lackey, correct? Is your... No, the nice shoes. I... Is your Should father get... a little eccentric? Quite old, um... Get captured a lot? Where, where, where did you get them from? Like, what town was it? The lackey in the man in the the burgermeister's mansion. Yes. The guy was locked up. Yeah, I took her the no. tap shoes because I can't use them, so maybe she um, recognizes the handiwork. She looks at them and it's like, Oh, these are really good work, but my father would do much better. I mean look, the the metal's already peeling away. That's there because I turned into a spider. There's more than one cobbler in Borovia. But around her pale, slender neck is a gold necklace with a ruby pendant. It's a bit of a magic thing. Looks fairly valuable. Strahd didn't want to, like, turn you into one of his wives, did he? Well, I assumed that's what he wanted to do, but... Or keep me as a... She just sort of indicates herself dressing like a maid's outfit, or keep me as a maid. Hasn't bitten you, has he? No, of course not. Can we check your neck? If you must. Yeah, or I'll just put an inside check. Yeah. Yeah, let's okay. go with that. Because that's what I'm saying by checking the neck. Oh my god, a wisdom check that went well? Okay, I, I think I might have to restart roll 20. Elias isn't allowed to do well on wisdom. <laughs> Can confirm, doesn't work. <laughs> okay, let's let's see how convincing she is. Oh, oh no! <laughs> she does indeed appear to be hiding something, but we're not quite sure. Elias, you think she's lying straight out? To you, you like she slightly. When I say yeah. about the bite. But a you sort of feel like she's hiding something, Aos, maybe not telling the complete truth. Elias Ooh. is convinced she's lying. So if you could lift your hair up and do a full turn, that would be very nice, please. Give us a while. She at this point Roll for initiative because she's going to lunge into attack. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. We got a live one here. You have advantage on this. Okay. Let's make this more interesting. I have advantage. Yep. Okay. 
let's not make it more interesting, James. <laughs> no, I think I think we need to make this more interesting. Could you have okay. had advantage? <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! I actually want to come back. So much better. Yeah, cheers, because babe. Cheers, care. babe. Much appreciated, right. babe. <laughs> You're going before Aos. Right, sure. let me just see if these monsters actually want to go on the map. Amazing. Come to expect it now in this place. All the women are just evil. What the hell is that? Pocky's not evil. Pillows. In in this castle. Um, Pocky's not evil. In the castle. She, she we are in the castle. castle. To be fair, she, she was evil from... for a couple of hours at one point. True. This isn't the castle. This is the soup store. Talking about the, the people who are were living here in the castle. I'm this looking for Strad, but there's only soup. <laughs> this is the soup store. <laughs> On the bed, all um, baby mimics <gasps> up their teeth. Oh, yay! <laughs> Mini mimics, everything is a mimic. <laughs> that means the parent is somewhere here. Mimi mix, I learned that the hard way in the hut. It's a bean bag, it's a mini Mini Mick, yeah. <laughs> God, God, the imagery. Sorry, I'm just going to share the imagery with you guys. That yeah, is, do it. Do it. Look at that room. Yeah. Uh, where? Oh my it, God, I the curse breakers are. Oh. Uh, you said everything was a mimic? Oh my God, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. The <bomb. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We all Shared. laughed. The cleric laughed. The table laughed. We killed the table. Even that it was a good time. In the background. <laughs> yeah, literally okay, everything. Even the yeah. I really oh. liked that artwork. The I made that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my the, god. The what moment. Happened, it's what happens when um, Mrs. Potts gets really annoyed. The moment, the moment that she doesn't comply with what I say, I shout out loud, WE HAVE AN ENEMY! Eminem and he... An enemy, an enemy, an enemy, an enemy. Enemy spotted. Um, okay, uh... I am gonna go... I'm so big. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's so cute! <laughs> so cute! Um, I want one. <laughs> I just want to... Wait, I just thought I can't even use my crossbow. Nope. Oh, well, you, can. you just can't reload it. Yeah. I mean, you can. You just Crossbows, have. Crossbows, so it's a heavy crossbow. They're a two-handed weapon. Oh, heavy, heavy crossbow. crossbow! Why are you using a heavy crossbow? It's what I have. Since when yeah, have you had an adamantine warhammer? I knew that was coming. I no. don't. I have an adamantine scimitar. We have an adamantine warhammer? You have yeah. an Eminem M&M? I do. M&M and M&M? Alright. We have a paladin? Right. Porky, what you doing? Oh, yeah, Eldritch Blasting. What are you Eldritch Blasting? Oh, well, that's throwback. <laughs> yeah, Eldritch Blasting her. Okay. Both hit. Ignore the rage, obviously. Yeah. So, pretty Wrong. good damage. Really good damage. She takes the blows. Her hair gets knocked back. Can you see the bite mark on her neck? How we? Uh, uh, I don't know what to do. It's the. Did it. Oh, did it again. 
I can't even get into the room from where I am. It's five, ten. I can get sort of here. Shoot it, Halloween. I can't. Just duck alone. You can. Is he, he still got a I know, I'm, he... I'm sorry, I know, I've got a light crossbow. Does he still have a crossbow? Then. But I wouldn't be walking around with a loaded light crossbow strapped to my back. Because that's just stupid. Because what? because it's not been an hour, would he still have holy weapon on his tentacle whip? Yeah, he does. Still out of reach, 15 foot reach. Yeah. You can just shoot her. Yeah, oh. shoot her. I have nothing to shoot her with. Everyone else just blast. Everyone else can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to end my turn here. Um, or just yeah. da dash in or something, or no? <laughs> yep. You could dash in, and then bonus action to use the no thing. I will end my turn. Yeah, you probably wouldn't trust being in front of. Me, so. All right, um, Elias. Ooh, what am I gonna do? Uh, let's go. Painting, by the look. Fourth le level shatter, because I don't know what else to do. Oh boy! I'm just gonna shatter them all. Okay. Um, in which case, um, yeah. I'm just gonna. I'll say probably because your area, and you wouldn't be hitting yourself. No. I'd say you probably aimed it in such a way that you wouldn't get the one in the top, like above you. I'd, I'd back up if I need to, to be fair. I'd back up um, and then yeah. go on to the ceiling in here. Yeah, and then so this I... one has to make a con save. Do I need to. Can I turn myself? Is there a button? It's not the same as thing. How's the con save? So 17 plus. Take the damage. I am now upside down. And you know what, Elias, just for the sheer shits and giggles, roll me a D one hundred. Yeah. But yeah, I would have I would have got them all in that room. Uh, okay. Six. That's why I'm back. Low. Perfect. Just oh. for my. Yep. So. I was deciding how mean I wanted to be, and you rolled low, so. I'm gonna make these other things all roll for their con saves as well. You say what? Who said the, who says the pillows were the only mimics? Oh no, everything's a mimic. Oh no, everything's a mimic. Yes. I literally really? told you to be careful of the adult ones. Well, let's be honest, we're going to have to fight them anyway. Just close the door and cast I came up. Oh no, it's the mummick. <laughs> I'm the daddy. Alright, uh, so. I beg your pardon. <laughs> And the uncle. <laughs> the what? And the antic. <laughs> Alright, let's. Um, Watch how many of them are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 2. And then type the beat. 2. Oh, that one's three, a pack. 4. Fail. 5. Fail. 6. Fail. So one succeeded, which I'll say is this one in the far corner. Um, so half of 25 is 13, the rest is 25. Oh, there's only six and... of them at least. Yep. Seems like, um... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, only I had a giant mimic ready for you. 25? 30? <laughs> I'm just getting out of dodge. Oh, I, I did that. I don't know why I just... Yeah. 
Oh, upon getting there, you do notice um, the other friend that keeps coming around the corner. Oh no! Oh no! There is more. Well, what have I noticed? What is it? You notice. I can see half of it. <laughs> this crawling. Oh. Down the corner. Is it crawling? Yes. Ah, it shouldn't be able to get me anyway. I'm on the ceiling. It's all good. Yeah. Only. Right. Which then brings us round to Raven's turn. Okie dokie. Uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna... Squeeze in there. And I can just about see this row of mimics on the bottom yep. here. And I just want to make sure that I've got this right, but technically we are at level 11, so do I get three Eldritch Blasts now? Or is that you got yeah. to be level 11 warlock? No, no, level 11. We've been taking two, so... Yeah, you would have three, so poor Excellent. content, you okay. should have done a third one. I forgot about that myself, I forgot you were level 11. So I'll shoot one at three, well, three Elder Glass, one at each, going from the front, to, and then so to the left, so... Three. Yeah, the one on the far left isn't going to get hit. Yeah. Um, one, two... Wow, crit on the first one. Boom. And... Uh, I'm guessing the 10 doesn't hit? Yeah. The 10 does not hit. Okay. Instead, um, that mimic leaps up and eats the Eldritch Blast. Oh, that was impressive. Well done. Yeah, yeah it seemed to think it was very tasty. Fine. Um. Yeah, and then I'll probably try and see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got enough that I can kind of like move back that way. Yeah. Yeah. And despite the fact that you're. Um, Seemingly dealing with these, um, you know what? She, they don't seem to be going for her, and yeah, she is going to walk over to this one, pick it up, and throw it to chaos. Oh my! Not again. <laughs> make an, Thinking make back to section. <laughs> One, like the door open. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, hmm. Well, I'll consider this an improvised. Actually, no. An improvised. <laughs> Let, let's let's play this fun way. Um, let's do. Yeah. Oh, Interesting you question. Actually, it's a crit. How do you throw a mimic? Because the moment you pick it up, you're stuck to it. <laughs> How do you throw a mimic? Who knows? She is the mother of mimics. <laughs> like, you she just hand stuck it. it. Does uh, she just come over and whack Aos with it? <laughs> because it's stuck to her now. God knows at this point. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Either way, she somehow managed to throw it at you for 18 damage. Wow. Joy. I had to spice the combat up somehow. And then she is going to hide under this bed. Like, use, like flips it up using it as a makeshift shield. Uh, auto tell. succeed. Auto succeed my concentration check. Yep. <laughs> That's a spider. Yep. So good. Alright. Hey. 
We need to walk out. Uh, oh, do we have to fight a million minute mimics? <laughs> Million always try to flee. Well, I guess if there's any better time to try this, now would be it. Uh, where's the door? The door is roughly where Aos is. Okay, so I'm gonna stand in front of the door, take a deep breath, and. Yeah. Uh, the yep. weapon. Oh, he's using his yeah. power. What's your DC? Uh, my DC is going to be. Uh, I need to read your. Eight plus your proficiency plus your con mod. Uh, so, so four plus, plus two. So your con. Yeah, 12 plus 2, so 14. Okay, 14. Your con, your con mods are plus 5. Oh, sorry, con. Sorry, I, I don't know why I was looking yeah. at charisma. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. plus 5, so 17. 17. And I said it was dex saves, or did I... Mm. No, it's a con save. Yeah, because it's necrotic. Yep, let's see how necrotic they are. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, four, five. And it's just going just straight along there to get yep. all of them. Yep, so that roll me the damage, which is 4d6. Ugh, oh, two ones? That's a bit of shit. Oh, two fives. Away. One. We've managed to do some pretty hefty damage to these as this, for want of a better word, liquid shadow pours from your mouth and just sort of eats their way through it, seemingly almost like a uh, Tearing off chunks of them and then making them disappear. Oof. And another one. Cool, that'll do it. Wow, pretty devastating. And oh. I would like a wisdom saving throw from you, Kate. <laughs> I would like. Uh, that's also plus two, plus one, because I'm right next to Aos. Yeah, uh, okay, so, you're fine. Yeah. That's not the mimic I'm clicking. It's not the mimic I'm clicking. Right. You had your chance, roll 20 today. You had your chance. Bye. That is not the mimic you're This no, is not the mimic you're looking for. I still can't click the What? What the right, I'm gonna have to refresh my roll twenty. It seems like I wherever I'm trying to click I'm like Five feet off to the right or left of where I'm actually clicking. And if you click five feet to the right or left, you'll click the right middle. There we go. That's yeah. more like it. There you go. So, roll 20, you developed another flaw. How oh, fun. But I don't want to make these into the complain about roll 20 stream, but still. <laughs> What, what was that? Roll 20, man. Spaghetti code. Right, um... So... Yeah. Yeah. Aeos. Oh, right. Um... This mimic do is... Do I have a mimic on me? Yes. Great. And um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say... For the sheer hell of it, it's... Formed into a essentially almost like a thin layer, like the front of your armor, but um, where, like, for some reason, I'm picturing a holy symbol. Your holy, 
I'm going to say there's a moon symbol or something. That appears to be wrong now. Like it's in change somehow. Yeah. Alright. From your gods. Um, let's have him make a dexterity saving throw. Yep. Dex save. Pretty sure that Alrighty, he fails. And I'll wreath it in holy fire. Whew. Yeah, they got pumped up this level. It is still standing. Alright, then I'll just try to hold up my shield and barricade the door so that no more of them can pour through. Okay, then bring it to this thing that's going to cool down and I'm just going to move Eros. Elias up square for a moment and is going to try to bite Fortune's ankles with one of its bites. Don't think a 15 hits you, does it, Forky? Nope. Yep, didn't think it did. Um, then it goes for a claw attack and misses. And a nat 20. Oh, I just realized I didn't roll on my critical hit table for the mimic. Let's do that now. Yeah. Neither did Raven. That's no, true, you. but yeah, Raven, if you like, you can roll uh, roll a critical hit for you if you want to. Me too. Oh wait, Raven's not here. She said yes. She's giving me a thumbs up. She's just making tea. Okay, <laughs> in which case, um, for that critical, roll me an extra d10, Steph. Just um, and I'll do the damage, and we'll just say it was a bit late for but um. Keep rolling threes today. <laughs> yeah, you're. Uh... Yeah. You don't. Oh no! Wait, you have that. So that it seems like a latent effect, but the mimic that got critted now seems to have faded away into nothingness. What, Yay! What, yeah. Um, the mimic that tried to um, that got thrown at. Aos didn't do anything else because it technically had, um, and the straw zombie. Okay. Um, I need to remind myself how this action works because it comes up so rarely. Um, okay, so, um, Porky, I need you to make me an athletics check. You're probably gonna win this, but oh yeah, you've won this unless in that in that one. It tried to it sort of reached up and tried to knock your axe out of your hand and steal it, but it was unable to do so. And now the mimic's turn. So let's start with the one eating Aos. Which will go for a bite attack. I don't believe the 17 hits. No. But it does have advantage, does a 20 hit? 20? That is a miss still. Okay, that is fine and it's not flanking, so this one's gonna come up and is going to try to pseudopod you. Uh, 16 misses. Yep. Um, this one is going to crawl along the wall, so imagine it's in the same space as the one in front of it, but on the wall or ceiling. Um, just because we don't have a good way to indicate three dimensions. Again, misses. <laughs> I love this one. Like a shield blocking all of them coming through the door. And then <laughs> this one's gonna just. Um, be above this one essentially so there's four in like a little square also misses <laughs> i'm holding them back there's like a sea of them this one seems to move back and seems to be um curling around well like it was this bed but it seems to be like part of that bed is still there and it appears to be curling around it Porky. 
Okay, um... I look down at the zombie, and then I look at the door. Which one do you want me to deal with first? Oh, uh, whatever you feel is necessary. I think you've got flanking on that one, so chop it a bit. That's a hit. That's also a hit. Ignore the rage damage. There you go. Right now, do these? These don't have that ability. That's another ability, but you've done so much damage that in that one turn you destroy it. First one you chop it in half, then you chop it in quarters. And <laughs> That's all I got. Hell There is a, for want of a better word, a barrage of moving beds with teeth and tongues trying to barge through the door and attack Chaos. Alright, I will activate the tentacle whip. Just hit yep. the first one. So that's... Yep. You, you're going for the one on Aos or are you going for... Uh, this one. Okay, roll your attacks. Oh. Yep, you hit, it's dead. <laughs> Can I use the tentacle rod to hit others with the same use? Let me read it. It says free attacks, it does specify. Well, you can use an action to wreck each change here. I'm going to say because it's designed to have three of the tentacles hit a single object, I'm going to say no to it being able to target multiple ones, but I will look that up for future sessions. Just um, Did you not say two out. of them were basically stood on top of each other, though? Yep. But, so could they well, not that... just reach past and hit the other one that's right on it? That, in physics terms, yes. In D&T terms, I'm going to say no at this point until I check the proper ruling for that item. Just okay, start. then. I'm going to hit this one, then, with my um, fast hands. Yeah, okay. <laughs> to activate it again. It's the one yep. in front of Porky. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nat 20. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, 18. And wow. another nat 20. <laughs> well, hold on. Well, you, did, you did 18, then 18 from the Holy Weapon. Well, no, the 18 was the attack roll. So roll me the damage for your tentacle rod. Okay. I think it's dead. <laughs> yeah, and I'm all... Yeah, um... Yeah, it was dead from the first attack. <laughs> That's five, eight. Shame. Oh, and because it's a crit, I'm just going to allow the second crit. That's, crit two, one to that's go. two crits. Yeah, I'm going to allow the second crit to also hit a target. So I'll say it will hit the other one that is yep. next to that one. So that's five plus. That's three plus five is eight plus 12 is 20. Still alive, but you Is that including the holy damage? Yes. Yeah, you kind of All right. He is the cho- oh wait, we've defeated Strad. Um... <laughs> anything else I can do? <laughs> uh, and how many yeah, were- How many were we saying still in the- Are we- A lot? Yeah, it took about three. Okay. I'm gonna do a level two shatter in there again. Oof. That was more than my level 4 shatter. <laughs> oh, I don't even hate it when that's a thing. So just going for all of them again. Yeah, I'm just, just, gonna... just hearing a cacophonous <laughs> And then a few seconds later. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... Shit, so we don't get two of them. Oh, we don't only get two of them. Mm. Uh, um, I'd probably go for the ones at the back, to be fair. Okay. Because obviously she's a vampire and 
actually probably more of a threat than the two mimics. I just pop my head over. Look under. Okay, so she makes the save and then takes half. That one takes the full damage, but is still standing. It's the health gets of them. Um, Raven. Uh, well, it's a bit squeezy around the door, but uh, yeah. yeah, I'll try and like slip in. Remembering you, you know, can the climb on the like... walls and ceilings now because you've got the cloak. <laughs> yeah, um, he'll he'll slip in one way or another so he can kind of get within the boundaries of being able yeah. to shoot. And what he'll do this time is he'll shoot the three eldritch blasts at the at the vampire lady. Yeah. Okay, I will say, yeah, mm. so let's put in the second one. First one misses. No, the first one hits, second one misses, third one hits. So. While she's up here, I got a high five of him. Vampire is still standing, seemingly. Well, you can't tell because she's behind the bed, but you hear a few grunts and a growl or a hiss. Yeah, he'll just kind of like move back out of the way. Mm. Literally like playing um, uh, leapfrog with them so he can get in. Yeah. Um, she is going to throw this bed at Eos. No, I don't have a bed to make as well. <laughs> it oh, misses. It she picks it up, but due to the Eldritch Blast damage, it shatters in her hands, and she's just like... <clears throat> she just sort of looks at the other Mimic, because she does have multi-attack, and it's like, no idea what you're up to, let's throw you. Probably shattered from the shatter as well. And, and just like tries to pick up that Mimic, but it just sort of squirms out of her hands, and she wastes her turn. Okay. Right. Uh, I don't want to go in there again. <laughs> but... Do it, do it. Fine, There's a I'll vampire in there, and you have a sunlight huh? sword. Well, now you say that. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Have all the beds turned? Yes. All the beds so are the, so, destroyed. So the mimic at the back seems to be curling around the remnants of the bed. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to regret this, aren't I? I'm going to charge yeah, in. <laughs> okay. Um, those two would get a tax opportunity on you. So yep. See if I think can hit you. Nope. 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 Go. Uh, and I shall... Are we smiting her down? I just kind of like bring the sword up. I turn around. The sword goes. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, sword. Yeah. sword requests it. Okay, I shall slash. Slash. Oh. Technically, uh, I do yeah. like that because I'm upside down. Uh yeah, twenty one to hit. Uh. Boop. She is actually still alive. Just not anymore. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. Thinking about it, she's had a couple of turns and she hasn't taken radiant damage. So technically, oh, she might need to put her. Fifteen does hit though. Boop. She's still standing. But divine Smite. If you want a Divine Smite, you can. I'm assuming I'm dead. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> she is a Blitterate. Cool. cool. Yeah. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna stay to frame this one here. 
Okay. Actually, I'll do the one at the back because I think I can get in and kill that one. Fails. Fails, 13 Radiant. That, was that one there. Yeah, it's still standing. Anything All else right. in the tank? I'll move up and sit there, I think. Okay, right. right, now then. This mimic. Um, let's just have some oh. fun. Oh, a place to you know what? Um, let me just roll with something. Elias, roll me a D100. But I shattered everything in the room. There can't be more mimics. Okay. What? Yes, mimic is seemingly grown. Grandfather mimic? And is going to attack Cade twice. Mama? Uh, 20 does. Does hit? Uh, it does. Are you close enough to AR? It's within. Yeah, I actually yeah. hit. <laughs> Excellent. Which means you are now. Grappled by it, and it does seven damage to you. And it has advantage on its next attack. Seemingly not. Nope. So it's just got you grappled. It's bigger. But that's it. Um, this mim these two mimics will um, test it. Go for chaos with their pseudo pulse. Wow, the top one actually hits. Hits who? Um, chaos. There's seven damage, and Aos is now grappled. Alright. It's not much, but it's a little bit of damage. And then this mimic seems to almost hiss at the other two. Porky. Did you, um, which is the one that's got Aos grappled? Uh, this bottom one, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna move here. It's not, if it's gonna let me move into the room. There we go. Um, and I'm just gonna turn around to Aos and be like, Hold still! Speak ya! Wait, that's a hit. I have a mimic on me? Oh, God. Yep. 16. He doesn't even notice. <laughs> still standing. Cool, and again. 22. <clears throat> yep. 9. And that's a dead mimic. Congrats, you're free! Oh, thank you. Oh, that is so, I have a question. Mm. If I did 5, 10, 15, that, yeah. and then I activated my tentacle rod, could I hit the big mimic? No, because... Um... The, you you can do an attack action with the uh, it states tentacle. it states whenever you take the attack action. Yes, but you're not taking the attack action with the tentacle rod. You're using an action to activate the item, which triggers it to attack. Just, just right. Go, go, just go uh, in. Okay, so I'm not going to do that then. Just... I have one arm. No. Just, just stand here. 
slap it. Fine. I'll... Do do whatever you're gonna do. Yeah, uh, big doors. Yeah, I'll go there and I'll slap the big one with the tentacle rod. Can you need one slap further forward? Fifteen. Yep. Okay, so. Wow. You don't... Okay, let's see what happens on the critical miss melee table. Roll a dex check. Ah, but does that happen because I'm yeah. using an object? Yeah, but it's also classed as a weapon. Shh. <laughs> we can't have it both ways. Roll me a dex check. You're fine with dex, it's all good. Mm. Uh... Your rogue gives you failing dex checks, you're playing the wrong class. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Do you I still use... get the other two attacks off of that, though? Yes. Okay. You wouldn't have if you dropped it, but... Alright then, so... Oh. <laughs> That's a miss. That's it. Still 2d8. 4. On top. No, Plus... Uh, I'll just... Uh, 7. Oh, it's still standing. And then I'm going to use fast hands to do it again. Yep. Uh, yeah. I mean, and it is dead because your minimum is will hit it. I just want to see what I do. Yeah. <laughs> All three would have hit that time. All right. So that's that's sorted at least. Right. I right. right. So it's one minute left. I'm just gonna pop my head in. Look at the last one. I've seen better representations of objects from any other creature. <laughs> Killed him. Oh my I god! To say, it, it just it manipulates its tongue into a middle finger and just sort of shows it to you in response. And then for, I'm just going to say because I feel like it, it's like it speaks, no. doesn't it? It speaks, yeah, doesn't just, it? just for the hell of it. Why not? <laughs> How did I know you were gonna and try? It, and it just like just goes. Your mother was an expert on objects. What does that even mean? <laughs> Take what it how you will. She did. Like she was an antiquarian. <laughs> <laughs> My mother was a like. The wife to a judge. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Does someone feel it? <laughs> How do you think? I don't know. I kind of like this one. <laughs> Can we keep raving? <laughs> Who's got the best animal handling? Let's tame it. Oh, I mean, Ra Raven's already got one pet. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's use the handy dandy rapier. Stabby stabby. Stabby stabby. 18. That's a hit. Sneak attack. Yep. And it is very dead. It sort of just looks to a lot and it's died. Like, your mum liked that sort of action too before it died. Oh, I was forgetting sneak attack on all my attacks. Oh, my first one out of them. Oh, yeah. You let me do sneak attack against Strahd. I don't think I did. It would still be sneak attack involved in that. Wait, but no, I... no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Sorry. And te... I, I... No, because um, the tentacle rod's not a finesse weapon. It doesn't apply I... dex on the attack rolls or damage. Yeah. That's why. Right. There you go, you have cleared the room of mimics. Jeez. That's how we think. <laughs> the door has yet to speak. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to be that cruel. I was tempted to go. But then you find your feet sticking to the floor. This isn't even a room. The walls aren't real. <laughs> Investigate the room. Um, Can you even fit you'll... in the room? <laughs> you can't really fit through the door easily. You break I, one of your legs. I, I sort of do the thing that, that spiders do where they just... Yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, 
I mean, I got into the room in the first place. I yeah. had to back out of the room. Yeah, but there's now rubble around the door. It's made a tight squeeze. No, I'm not going to be that mean. Or am I? No. Nah. In the saying. words of the mimic, your mum's a tight squeeze. God. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only thing you find in this room, even without rolling, is um, Helga's necklace, which you suspect to be worth about 750 gold pieces. I'll roll. Damn. I'll roll. That's I'll a lot roll. of ruby dust. Do, do you want me to roll, or, or is it you, just... You can roll if you like. There's nothing in the room, is there? You don't know. <sighs> Why'd you do this, Jim? I I'm I was really tempted to do that, but I don't have stats for a mimic room. What about um, the Helga room? The the bed sheet has an enlarged sigil on it. You find, which you suspect is what the mimic managed to somehow use. But it's um, now. No one objects. I would like to take that necklace. Sure. It's useful sure. for spell components. Oh, I was going to say we could pawn it somewhere, but yeah, why not? If we don't need it after the conclusion, then yes, we can. Alright. So, I'm sure this is the right way. So, where we haven't been. Doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it wrong either. Let's head up the stairs. Is this up the stairs or is it down the stairs? I can't tell. It's, it's up heading up. Okay. It's apples or pears. Let's go. I'm following Pa. But technically, I, I could speak to Pa because she has like a head on top. Well, right. Yeah. That's weird. That's so Porky weird. is wearing one of Raven's wigs. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does that just give one of the faces a mustache? <laughs> she's, she's literally got like a scarf wrapped around most of them, and then she's got the wig on top. I like I like the idea that I'm looking like face down to the top of Porky's head, and every no every so often I see like blinking eyes through the through the wig. <laughs> This is like, oh, that's creepy. That's creepy. <laughs> hey, I'm small again. You're not, but I, I'm not going to keep enlarging you. For some reason, it won't save your token size, which is driving me mad. I tried for ages earlier. <laughs> Dark alcoves line the walls of this long hall. The ceiling has fallen here, leaving rubble strewn across the floor. Overhead, the beams of Ravenloft's roof are exposed. Lightning from the dark clouds above sporadically illuminates the hall, lighting the face of life-size human statues in the alcove, each visage frozen in terror. Um, <clears throat> I'll pull out the lantern of revealing again and check ahead. Okay, actually, this is interesting. Um, I would like... Right, so... As you put your um, lantern over the statues, looking around, um, what what you will notice is that each of them um, seems to, whilst they look terrified in the flash of lightning, now that you're looking at them with the lantern, they look quite stoic, and they almost look at you questioningly. And... You know what, I'm going to be nice. One of them will say, ask us questions, mortal. Why? Because we can provide answers. We have been here as l perhaps even longer than this castle. And then that one falls silent and seems to fade, but the others oh. are still... Yeah, you don't want to questions. <laughs> Did I just what? use that one of the questions? I asked no, shh. Uh, another what? one. No, no, another I, put, one. I put my hand over the knife. <laughs> what, what, what threat now lingers in this castle? 
Okay. Roll me a d100. Yes, you did. Yeah. yeah, I did. I did. It I did. simply says the mist and then fades. That's only one of the frets. You want to ask for all of the frets. <laughs> I think we knew that already. Yeah, we did. Okay. Well, well you asked for the frets within the castle specifically, and it said the mist. Better yeah, so to ask how frets. we defeat the frets. with an S. The mist yeah. is a singular. Is it? Wait, was the vampire we just killed just mist? Upon defeat, it did fade into mist. Oh, as did the mimics. Oh, God. Okay. Alright. So, everything here is no longer what it was. How do we defeat the mist? Oh, can we drive it back? Can Barovia be saved? Those are some good questions. All three. Um, yeah. Okay. So, for each question, each three, roll me a d100. Roll hard. Hard. Okay. Just repeat the questions in the order you did. Uh, how do we defeat the mists and push them back? Or, no. You must defeat the nightmare. But we defeated them. And what was your second question? Is it possible to save Barovia? No. We that is grave news. Make a mistake. And what was the third one? Is it possible to save the souls within the mists? Perhaps. Ooh. How many more have we got? Um, so you've asked five, I want to say, so you've got five more you can ask. Oh, are our missing companions safe? I assume they're part of the mist. D100? Because I would like, should figure that Hmm. I'm, I'm just going to point out that we don't know if these things are telling the truth. We're just insight. Insight check. I'm. We good need to at ask those. a question where we already know the answer. They're definitely telling the truth. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Definitely telling the so, truth. So, um, where are your companions? We're going to insight check mm -hmm. Porky for her question because. <laughs> Their response is simply <laughs> as safe as you are. Oh, so really well then. <laughs> Any other questions you guys can think of? So maybe, maybe for your life. Try to find out if there's any power that could help us in this castle still. Anything of value? If not. Is there a way to hold and contain the mist? D100? Sixteen. Yes. You can probably put it in a bottle. Oh, useful. Oh, no. I guess I think what? I'm getting the idea now. D100 is telling us how useful the answer is. What about the nightmare? Do we ask what it is? Because mm. I don't nightmare get the... sounds to me like it. I get the feeling it's not actually the horse. Is there oh, really wait. no fun if there's no Blinsky? No. <laughs> D100, and... you've asked the question. I can't say, I, and... I... Right. God damn it. it! It just says 
No fun, no Blinsky. No. No fun, Pachinsky. Great, thanks for that. Okay. There's only this only the souls of all Barovia are on the line, you're asking. <laughs> we should ask what the nightmare is so we know what we're up against. Well, clearly it's Pachinsky. Shh. You don't get to speak anymore, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I have a silent spell and I will use it. Sorry, what's that all xylophone phone noises. <laughs> no, I believe you've got three left. What? Is... Oh, I, I, I missed the part that we had a, a limited amount I'm of questions. Hey, oh. And <laughs> I'm going to say, what about if there isn't a way to solve this, if someone was to take the place of Strad, would that work for now? Yeah. Well, hell, we're asked. Okay, roll me a d100 hell with. God. Uh... I'm going be asking if there's a, a way to, yeah, like you say, feel the shoes of Strahd and maintain Barovia's existence, I guess. Even, even if it means becoming what we destroyed. Hmm. The mist cannot be Stopped, but it can be killed. Right. We should definitely ask how. We should definitely ask what the nightmare right. is that we're going to have to destroy. That, that kind of answer your question, though? What was it? Asking if you can feel the, the shoes of Strahd. Basically, yeah, if that would help sort of prevent what's happening or to halt it until it can be fixed. And it said it can't be stopped. It cannot be stopped, but it can be killed. Hmm. So I think we know I think we know our answer then. The thing, then. <clears throat> yeah. I think we know what we need to do then. The same so thing we do every day. Kill things? Yes. But we should we should still ask how we can kill it. We have what? all the god fearing um, weapons we need. And we yeah, have but there might be a specific way. Well then let's easy as I'll tell you what, ab, there's a good ab. question. We'll ask is there anything more in this castle that can aid us? Where is it? D one up. D100. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Um, probably is. There's lots of places we haven't been. Probably going to be. There sure. are many can... places within Barovia that may aid you on your quest. They are everywhere and nowhere. I think we got a good answer for that. Plus, I asked specifically in the cast. Shake my fist. <laughs> they are everywhere within the castle and nowhere within the castle. Yeah, in other words, warmer, warmer, or colder. Useless. So, Is there any more questions? So, it's a choice between... You've got one question left. How do we defeat it? Or, I don't, we already know how what, to or what is it? it? We know how to kill stuff. We, okay. We're excellent at killing stuff. What What is it we're going to be fighting is probably an interesting question. Okay. D100, o if you're going to ask other, that. Other than, like, because it's going to be more than just the mist. It's going to be, it's a nightmare. From what I think one. we already know is that Barovia is, in a way, a smaller pocket dimension of a shadow fell. And if the barriers between those realms have been destroyed by us, then whatever is coming in, probably from the shadow fell. So we... 
Yeah, we don't need a suit of armor to tell us that. Yeah, but I still think we know what it is that's coming in. I'll say this then. Does this nightmare have a weakness? Hmm. Yeah, I think there is a very interesting question. What, what is the nightmare's weakest? Hmm. Weakest? Weakness? Strongest weakness? Hmm. Weakest, strongest weakness of weakness. Strongest, weakest link. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think how to answer this. Rate it. Roll me that D100 for oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. The, the death of its vessels. Uh, vessel? Aren't we the vessel? Yes. Did everyone hear that, that last one? Mm-hmm. So... Well, that's going to make getting you a little bit difficult. Suicide pact? God, no. <laughs> <laughs> the destruction of the vessels, it can either mean you guys, or it's going to reference the Amber Temple thing. But I thought destroying those released them. I guess we'll find out. Maybe... I really do hope it doesn't come to that, though. Maybe this nightmare creature can only be defeated by the Dark God. And to do so, we have to destroy the vessels that hold them. Maybe that's what it's hinting at. I'm not sure. Neither. Alright. You're able to proceed forward <clears throat> safely. All of the statues have now faded and their faces are once more rictus of horror. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you something as you get to this edge before you proceed. I've gone down. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I haven't got lighting again. Um, this is my old token. Oh. Yeah, I... Oh, is that where the heart is? Yes, so... Is that what that is? High, high above in the tower, you see a very large crystal that appears to have shattered and peak looking down you can see pieces of it below oh at the top of the tower the heart of sorrow right mm -hmm. so that's what we so that's what 50 hit points look like <laughs> yep seemingly so. no oh. raven is what 50 <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm on 51 hit points right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. That was a lot and give fruit. <laughs> you opening you haven't seen that box anywhere, <laughs> have you, Raven? Really? You know what? What was that? You haven't seen any foxes yet? Because we've gone Raven through the charisma checks. Just there's a lot of different directions to go. What? <laughs> Does that count as a 20? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm going to say it's enough. You don't see the fox, but you see, the two its <laughs> you see its prints going this way. Which way? Which way? Down the way that you've gone, Elias. Oh, I just... But, but that you don't see the prints, only they do. Okay. What, do they go through this door? Seemingly so. And again... There are four and five. Four and I'm, five. I'm literally gonna like push Elias's like legs out of oh. my way. <laughs> can get through. Okay. And opens the door. No, Just go like on the tip toe or tip legs, and so you can go under. But yeah, I made it through. Ooh, I like this room. Ooh, fancy. A blazing hearth fills this room with rolling waves of red and amber light. The walls are lined with ancient books and tomes, their leather covers well oiled and preserved with careful use. All is in order here. The stone floor is concealed 
beneath a thick, luxurious rug. In the centre of the room is a large, low table, waxed and polished to a mir mirrored finish. Even the poker in its stand next to a blazing fireplace is polished. Large, overstuffed divans and couches are arranged about the room. Two chairs of burgundy coloured wood with padding leather seats and back cushions face the hearth. A huge painted painting hangs over the mantelpiece in a heavy gilded frame. The rolling firelight illuminates the carefully rendered portrait, which you recognize as an exact likeness of Irina Koyama. Oh shit, I forgot about Irina. Yep. Just like, guys, 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 there's like five, I think, the candles on the table. Didn't I really just like disappear at one point and that was about yep. it? Yeah, she, yeah, she, she disappeared. Around, like, something... the lake. Yeah, and... yeah, that's the last thing we sort of saw or heard anything about her. I think she got yeah. pulled into the fair while. She got Maybe dragged just... in by what looks like um, the husband, the yeah. brother. So good. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of like, yeah, yeah it's fine. So, so I thought it was. Um, but I was like, Hold on. <laughs> you know, I just realised. You know, when I teleported you to the room where you found the goat from, you're meant to be teleported here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I, just I, mean, not, not, I wouldn't know anything about Irina. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Raven, as probably the most scholarly of the group. You would notice that the, this book collection, based on its value and such, this is probably worth about 80,000 gold pieces in total all of these books. Damn. Nice. But, but transporting it would be very difficult. What if we had a bag of holding? Yeah. It is. Very, very expensive, vast knowledge right there. That, uh... Burn it. Not, not what we're here for, not what we're here for. Porky, you said you found five candles. Yeah, there's what look like five candles on this table, look. He's just lounging on this chaise lounge, by the way. He's just, like, lounging on there, like, yep, I'm home. <laughs> is, is any of the candles turned upside down? Nope. Oh, because there was five of them. <laughs> hmm. I want to go over to the portrait and kind of like eat coffee and get. Yeah. Hmm. It's usually like hidden cupboards. It, it's quite. Oh, yes. It's quite high up. In order to interact with it, you would have to. Probably grab something nearby to like poke at it. Elias. Yeah. Get over here. I mean, uh, Raven can climb the wall. I'm like. Yeah, I've like got my hand on this door, and then I look at Porky, and I go, "Okay." Mm, actually, um, what I will say, thinking about it, is those with, um. I would say Porky and Helvin would notice this. The poker appears to be exceptionally well polished. However, Giggly. It, it's sitting in a weird position from, in your opinion. How so? It just looks oddly positioned, like maybe it should be off to the left or the right slightly. It's a lever! Pull it! I'm oh, gonna... No. I'll go oh, over to it. I will go over to it and go, Porky, you've got my back, right? Always. Oh, <laughs> I'll pull it. Porky should pull the porker. I'll pull it because Porky can do more damage if anything's there. <laughs> I've got my axe out ready, just in case it is a lever and something... You pull, no. you pull, the, you pull the poker. Um... In fact, as you look, as you like interact with it, you find that it appears to be sitting on something, like it's weighing something down. Now, right. Looking? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wreck on that then. Sorry, James. We should now use mm -hmm. So that I'm going to roll a thieves' tools to see if it's trapped or. Okay. 
to see if I can work out what the mechanism is. Yeah. Yeah, you notice it as you go. Oh, wow. But with that, you notice that you believe that if this is pulled, it is going to do something in relation to the fireplace. With a natural one, you figure that out. Well, <laughs> Good job. well because, because a natural one is not an auto failure apart from in combat. All right. Um... And it's still a 13. I'm still going to activate it. Yeah. Oh, God, run. Another... Wait, <laughs> and I'll, um... oh, let me through the door. Let me through the door. <laughs> You're actually going to pull it with the, knowing that it's going to activate some sort of thing in the past. Bulky is stupid. Yeah. I go through the door. Yeah. I go through the door. I'm, so, I'm going to let you know and then I'm going to pull it. A, a oh. secret door is revealed behind the fire. Yeah. Is the fire still lit though? Yes. Is the fire I'm gonna... real? I don't know. I stick my is hand it? in the fire. Okay. You maybe could have put Put the end of your axe or something. You take so you take happens. three fire damage. The fire uh, is real. James, can you? Yeah. Because technically, I run through here for safety. Um, I'm just gonna point out. This is a great place for a rest now. If you did want to take one, short one. Stunty. To be fair, Paul, he could do with a long rest, but. But yeah, I, would, I would say if you wanted to take a long rest, you would be able to. It's been long enough. I don't get my rages back on a short rest. No, you don't. Yeah, and I don't get any of my luck or anything really back either. Hey. Hey. No, uh, a long rest would be a good idea. Pressure I see. Would you like to oh, no. would you like to double tiny hot it? Double hot. Can I might. Be. Might as well. Let's just see what Pulky found first, and then we'll, we'll discuss with the group. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to be keeping an eye on the doors, just making sure that. We couldn't, has, has anyone got anything we can use to sort of put this fire out? Um, I'm just like holding fire. my hand, like it's real fire. Oh, is it still on? You muppet. Yeah, the fire's still on. <laughs> this is a secret <laughs> door behind you. I assumed it was fake. What would happen if I webbed? <laughs> the fire web, is, web is flammable. Yeah, yeah web is very flammable. How do it you turn off the pan? Is hot. <laughs> <laughs> Hold Don't on a minute. Don't make me hurt you. Do what I said. She licked the microwave when it was turned on. I'm going to check if it actually is hot. <laughs> yeah. Porky feel... just put their hand in it and took down. Oh, and did it burn? Yes. Ah, oh, uh, Porky, step back. Does not someone have like a Water decanter or well, something. Oh, you have a water. water. You have a yeah, wine it decanter. Mixed alcohol. If oh, you don't yeah. want to pour Which that. Which is on. flammable. <laughs> it's uh, wine. It's a wine log. is not flammable. Thingy now, isn't it? There's is a log. creature in it now. Yeah, it's got a wine. It's weird also got a it. creature. It's got a wine weird. It, well, it might be able to put it out for us. Is there logs? Or set everything on fire. Yes. Right. I'm good. We're gonna have a long rest anyway. I'm gonna shatter the logs. There's no if there's no fuel, there's no fire. But no. then, whatever. I mean, you could. That's an option. That's um, why I said. Roll me an intelligence check first. That's why You're gonna said... alert everything in this dungeon, though, to our presence. Uh, that's true. That'd be fun. Intelligence check. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you're smart enough to realize that by doing shatter, while she would destroy the fuel, you would also scatter it, and it's on fire. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, if I just take, like, a run at it and jump through. Oh, yeah, screw <laughs> I'm going to do that as well. No. <laughs> I mean, um, um, is, this, is this wisdom or intelligence? It could be both. Oh, I don't care. I'm going to do it. Porky, you put your hand in the fire and it hurts. What do you think is going to happen if you run into fire? Yep. I run Porky. I run through the fire. Yeah. I joined so, Porky with that. So, Porky, you take another eight damage. Can I make a dex or acrobatics or something to sort of leap through it and pull, like, my you walk can try. around myself? You can try. Uh, athletics or... Yeah, acrobatics, I'd say. 
Uh, and I'm sort of pulling my wolf pelt sort of round me to shield like, my face. And... You take eight damage and your wolf pelt is heavily scorched. So That's it doesn't right. set fire, but you do take well, I've, damage. I've got, I've got 17 temporary hit points, so... I... <laughs> I'm... <laughs> fabricate to turn the wooden logs no. into, into a condensed five-foot cube, so it's off to one <laughs> side. It's fun. It's, it's fine. Good. We're good. We're good. We, we jumped through it. We, we could have come back. It's fine. It's fine. So resting, long rest rest, a minute. It's fine. Resting on the floor of this smoke-filled room is a closed chest surrounded by piles of gold, silver, and copper coins. The fittings and clawed feet on the chest are evidence of great workmanship. Attached to the east wall are two torch sconces. The southernmost one holds a torch with an intricate metal base, the other is empty. A skeleton in broken plate armor lies against the wall. The skeleton's right hand is on its throat, and its left hand holds a torch from the empty sconce. Hmm. Holding his throat. Mm-hmm. That sounds like it's trapped so I talking. want to check out the skeleton before anything else yeah Boy, then. because it's either he's taken something out of the sconce and like it's killed mm. him like he's holding his throat so he can't breathe you said it's a smoke filled room Hello. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah I want to check like the neck area for anything unusual if he's holding his throat you can't see anything he just seems to be clutching his throat like something has happened based on that it looks like he's been here a while Is his armor distinct in any way? Is there any like craft mark? No, not really. It just appears to be an adventurer. Right. Uh... Anything happens, I can help you and I can heal you should something happen, okay? I will say to Porky, go back out. Let me try this one. What are you gonna do? Have you... Have you got a I'm going to open it. Have you got okay, a virgin? Well, but I have a antitoxin. So have I. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I do have a couple out. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna move. Here, so I'm sort of in a back corner. Yeah. But I'm not gonna leave the room because I don't want to have to jump through the fire again unnecessarily. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm going to do thieves to try and disarm any traps that's on the chest. Okay, the chest does not appear to be trapped in any way that you can see. I'm going to look around the chest, sort of the pile of coins that you said's there, and just yeah, any. Just, no, nothing seems to indicate it's trapped from what you're looking at. Okay. Big breath, open it. Here we go. Yep, I'll take a deep breath and I'll flip the lid of the chest open. Yeah. Okay. Like diamond, ready to cast river. It's a mimic. Everyone in the party, roll me con saves. Everyone. Con what? Saves. Oh, for... oh is Sorry. Well, the chest wasn't trapped, but it was filled with a gas inside the chest. How, how much does it pour out? Does it fill the... In... Yep. It fills this room as well. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Really? That's what I'm saying. Just... Yep. That's okay. That's a lot of gas to fill this entire room. Crazy. Yep. Um, so... Raven fails. Oh, heck. Hellwyrth um... fails. What? Sorry, 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 Elias sorry, sorry, sorry. fails. Oops. Aeos fails. Wow. Kate succeeds, Porky succeeds. Alright, I'm gonna come over and I'm shutting that. <laughs> yeah, um... What was all this of you, All of you are paralyzed. 
Okay. Well, we're taking that <laughs> and as Porky closes the chest, you do see a magic sigil at the bottom. Got nothing in the chest. It. Nope, chest is empty. But there's still gold on the floor, right? Yep. <laughs> I'll uh, scoop that up. I want to at least get something out of this. <laughs> so, this is how you see uh, Elias paralyzed. He falls onto his back, and you see his legs just curl in. <laughs> yeah. Was mm. um, oh, that a magical gas, then? Yes, I was saying magical. Amazing. Who's got that? Man, who's got magic with this? No one? No one? Yeah. I don't think anyone has resistance to magic. No generally. So obviously, this guy must have opened it mm-hmm yep um and then sort of died within those four hours oh, i'm glad i got comfy yeah <laughs> i'm surprised uh, i played with a 17. dc uh, 18 unfortunately oh sorry aren't, aren't you in range of kid though doesn't that give he you was not a, no no at the time i, will, I was over here uh that's a shame uh, so I'll yeah. go and pick up Aos and just pop it down on that one. Yeah. Let me pick me up. Huh? No, you're going in the fire, mate. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, I mean, they. How badly? How like how big is the fire at the moment? It it's being cleared. Um. Elias moved it to one side. Um, to I'm gonna, to I'm gonna carry Hellware out into the other room. Oh, thank um, God! At least I'm not the only one, Porky. No, I'm fine. Um, don't open the chest in the other room. Um, I'm assuming that's what caused this. <laughs> yes. Right. Um, just dump me on the floor. I don't care. Uh, no, I put you in the chair. I'm not that mean. Uh, <laughs> You can lie him down. <laughs> um, and then I'll go back, pick up the gold in my poncho, I'll just sort of pile it like a big pocket, and sort of put it on the table. Aren't we perhaps a little beyond raiding for treasure? Alright, you don't have to take any then. No, no, what, I, what I'm saying is that, <laughs> that the, the treasure is a nice additional... However, that I think risking our lives for it is, well. Okay, we didn't know that there was poisonous gas in there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you jumped treasure. through the fire. It's <laughs> hidden treasure. There could have been magical items. I thought you guys were into that sort of stuff. Yeah, Porky. I will say one other thing you yeah. noticed in that room. As you're about to, um, as you close the chest and you're looking, and you do notice that there is a slight scrape mark by the other wall, almost like that wall can move as well in that room. Ooh. I'm gonna go back and investigate that really quickly. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and Porky, try not to touch is... anything else. When I'm not gonna open it. I just, I just want to check this thing. Because it looks like this bit can open. I'm gonna go and mm. give it a listen <laughs> up against the door. But I'm not. I'm not gonna try and open it just yet. I swear. Oh, hell. No way. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a case of something might come through there while our friend can't move. Yeah, okay, you're more than willing to look through it if you like. I'm not looking through it. I'm listening through it. Okay. I don't, want, I don't uh, want to open it let, yet. Let me see what's in there whilst I set up the next The real bit straw! Of I shall leave this off this. Um, you don't hear anything. Okay. Um. But it does seem like like as you're leaning across it, it does move slightly, so you can definitely move this 
Okay. What's um, over there? That's a, a bit of wall that looks like it can move, um, but I'm not going to open it until everybody's back on their feet. That just seems like a silly idea. Exactly. So I'll come back um, and, and I'll sort of sit down. I beg your pardon, sir. I beg your pardon, sir. What do you think well, you're doing? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. You see these three lovely ladies approach you. Well, 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 what do we have here then? Taking a rest in the library, are we? Who goes there? Who are you? Just some... Hmm... Travelling apothecaries. Just looking to see if anyone needs any help now that the mist has risen. Um, I think we're okay, but thanks for the offer. But so many of your friends, they have been struck with the rigor mortis. Ah, that would be fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, that one's turned into a spider. They, they've been through worse. <laughs> They're good. Mm. Appreciate the offer, though. It's very kind of you. Hmm. What exactly are you doing here, anyway? Just resting. To rid the curse upon the land. The curse of tired. <laughs> it's been a very long day. <laughs> no, well, two of them are going to start cackling, and then they're going to point fingers at the pair of you. And... Oh, boy. Is there something on my faces? Ian, no. shut the door. <laughs> no. And I would like... Initiative? Wisdom saving throw. Initiative? Do I get the... Uh... They're just pointing and laughing, but I'm going to get make wisdom saving throws for the pair of them. Do I get my words off, Ian? Shut the door. Ian, you do get those words off. Sweet. Come but on. then I will That's say... all I need. That's all I need. Wisdom save. And uh, plus yeah, two pork. And, and then I will allow the pair of you to roll. Oh, one plus three. Um, I am going to point out I do need to get the pair of them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is this is why I'm going to end this here. But and you know what? Just because I think it's going to be. Why did I roll that? I'm completely wrong. Oh. Question uh, here. Where's my hellhound? Ah, I didn't bring the it, hellhound up. It should be with us. Yes, it would be, and you and can roll your a... Echo? Yeah, yeah, but you can't control his echo technically, so it just sort of stands there. <laughs> you want a con save, yes? Yes. Just straight con for the hellhound? Yep. 18. It actually makes the save, so it's probably. I'm gonna say that it just stands near you. And oh, it'd be. I'll say it'd be defending if it's. Um. You know what? Just for the. Sheer oh, shits and giggles. Just now. Okay. You find this entire situation hilarious. 16. It's a 16, not a 13. I know. Okay. <laughs> Porky, however, you're able to resist this effect. And ah. you're... And that... is where we shall end for this week. Porky versus the hags. Yep, so... Thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. Stay tuned for the last resort company up next. And, of course, um, join us Friday for the Claws Coast campaign with everyone here apart from Tank, and join us Sunday for what may be the last session of the Phaedar arc of the Witch Hunters at the Ugg's Dancing Hut. Mm. But for now, good night, sleep tight, and don't let the tiny pillow mimics bite. Stay tuned, we've got Tomb of Annihilation up next as well. Yep, I did say. Yep, it's all good. Okay. Keep watching for that. <laughs> Good job. Bye. Bye.